everyone. Welcome back to the Tiny Show on Malarkey. I'm Tiny. Hope you guys are doing good with your homeschooling and everything. We started our day by going on a walk. Um, let's jump right into the video. So we're going to get started with our quote of the day. Hooray. Which today's quote is... <laughs> what was that? When the power of love overcomes the love of power, the world will know peace. And that is from Jimi Hendrix. That's a good quote. All right, now we're gonna go into our word of the day, which today's word is choppy. It's an adjective which means rough or stormy, like the sea when it's full of small bumpy waves. Some synonyms are rough, stormy, and blustery. It's used in 1.2% of stories. Some word pairs are choppy sea, choppy waves, or choppy weather. All right, let's go right into our next segment. Hello everyone, welcome back to my ASL segment. Uh, before we dive right into uh, our new letter, let's review the letters we've already done. If you may hold this. First we've done A, ball up your fist and put your thumb inside. B, put your, uh, put your thumb across your palm and put your four fingers together. C, make a C with your hand. D, uh, make like an O with your hand and stick out your pointer finger. E, you uh, you do a B, but you curl down your fingers. Uh, um, F, uh, you make an OK symbol, but bring your three fingers together. Uh, G, make a finger gun, but put your thumb down. H, add the middle finger. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, ball up your fist and put the pink and put your pinky finger up. And then our new letter, which is J, you do an I. You make an eye shape, but then you bring your pinky down like you're making a U, like this. Like it's a movement? Yeah. Like so that's U. the first movement letter, right? Uh, yeah. One of the two. Stay Ooh. tuned to see which the ne what the next moving one is. Now let's uh, dive right into our next segment. All right, now it's time for our drawing and writing segment. Today's drawing segment uh, theme is if you had a brand, what would it look like? So we went ahead and we drew this. So I drew Dad and Tiny's fish dip, because my dad and I like to make fish dip. Check out our, our video where we make that. So there's a little cracker with the fish dip on it. We got our little canister, and it's great. Um, I I didn't color mine, so I don't have the color. Uh, we just well, bought. I'm really um, nice. pretty sure we have like a mother ton of crayons, have, just, but that's we fine. We just bought brush pens. For yeah. You, you bought no. Uh, okay. What? Uh, the other day we designed a store and it was uh, and I made patties and drive by chachis. so I made so I went ahead and made that into a logo. Good job, buddy. All right. And so now today's writing is describe the worst haircut you've ever had. Well, I'm fortunate enough to never really have a bad haircut. There was one time though where my mom cut my hair without telling me. Um, she was brushing my hair one day and then she just braided it and chopped it off. My hair grew back though and I voluntarily decided to cut it to this length. But thanks mom for chopping off my hair without telling me. Hey, uh, I didn't really write mine. But I, happened, so she's been trying to convince me to cut my hair for years, and finally I was like, okay, let's do it. And so I got it cut. And now she's like, mm, I don't know, maybe I think you should grow your hair back out again. And I was like, what? No! That's life. Uh, I didn't, I forgot to do mine, but I can't not. I'll just mm. quickly. Uh, I forgot to do mine, but I put a check mark next to where I said I did it, uh -huh. so I lied. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, but no I do gaming for you today. But Looks I like do. you have two writing problems to do today, Patty. Yeah, okay, like, do you remember it? One time, my mom shaved me bald. Um, I did not shave you bald. I went to the store, and I came back from the store, and your father had you in the high chair, and he shaved you bald. Right. Dad shaved me bald. Yeah, and you don't remember because you were like one. But I remember that happened. No. Yeah. And you've had a mohawk ever since. Let's go right into, into our, our next, next segment. Go. All right, now it's time for our fast fact segment. Today's state of the day is Ohio. 
The capital of Ohio is Columbus. Its nickname is the Buckeye State. It's been a state since March 1st, 1803. Its state bird is the cardinal, and its state flower is the scarlet carnation. And its motto is, with God, all things are possible. Um, quick fact, the Pro Football Hall of Fame is located in Canton. The Wright brothers built a wind tunnel while living in Daytona in 1901. So let's just put this right in here. Wrong. 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 What are you looking for, Tiny? Ohio. <laughs> Do we not know where Ohio is? I don't either. There's Ohio, and underneath here's Michigan, our... next to Indiana, next to West Virginia. And we do have a little um, state quarter for that. Now these are the national park state quarters, right? Uh-huh. All right, I'm just gonna put that right there. And let's jump right into the rest of our fact facts. All right, now it's time for our president of the day. Today, today's president is Grover Cleveland, the 22nd president. He was in office from 1885 to 1889. Um, he was called the, v the veto president. His vice president was Thomas A. Hendricks, who died in 1885. He was a part of the Democratic Party. Um, he represented the state of New York, and he was born March 18th, 1837, and he died June 24th, 1908. Um, he was a lawyer, and he studied law in New York, and he was married to Francis Folsom Cleveland. His full name was Stephen Grover Cleveland. He was the governor of New York. He was the first president to wed in the White House. He vetoed more bills than any other president up to that time, and only president to serve two non-consecutive terms in office. That's really cool. All right, and now it's time for our space fact of the day. Today's space fact is Mars. It's the fourth planet from our sun and is the second smallest planet in our solar system. Um, its average distance from the sun is 142 million miles. It, its solar revolution is 687 days, and it is two moons named Deimos and Phobos. Its facts are Mars was named after the Roman god of war. It is called the Red Planet due to its red soil. Mars has frozen polar caps, just like the North and South Poles on Earth. That's really cool. I didn't know that. All right, now it's time for our animal of the day. What? You're going really fast. You have four minutes left on this recording. Oh, okay, keep going then. Um, uh, our animal today is the rattlesnake, the western diamondback. Its family is of the viper day, vipers. Um, it lives in the desert and semi-arid grasslands of the U.S. Southwest from Car California to Arkansas. Um, its average lifespan is 10 to 20 years, and its group is called, and its group is called the nest den or rumba of rattlesnakes, and its babies are called hatchlings. Um, animal bites. This venomous viper lives in, the, lives in holes, crevices, and underground dens. When alarmed, it rattles its tail, made of hard sections of old shed skin, to frighten an intruder. That's really cool. All right, now it's time to jump right into our next segment. You are going back. All right, now it's time for our Book of Why. Today's Book of Why question is, what is an asteroid? Asteroids are chunks of rock that orbit the sun and wander around the solar system. They're the rubble left over from its solar, solar system's format, formation roughly 4.6 billion years ago. An asteroid is made of the same stuff under your feet. Rock, bits of metal, and maybe some carbon. Hmm, that's really cool. So it's basically just a space rock. Thanks for watching this episode of The no, Tiny wait. Show. Remember to, like, remember to like, share, and subscribe so you can see videos like this every day. Bye! Oh, wait. you have time for a joke, Tiny. All right, guys. I'll read it then. We don't want to. Why did the old lady put roller skates on her chair? <laughs> she wanted to rock and roll. Thanks for watching this episode of The Tiny Show. Remember to like, share, and subscribe so you can see videos like this every day. Bye!